This is the demonstration video for the Gamma Lux Lighting Systems Perimeter Series Ambient Rollout Reflector Installation. Along with your fixtures, you will have received a reflector installation tool and you will have received a roll of ambient uh, reflector material. Uh, this is a very flexible material. It's not paper. It's actually an engineered uh, reflector material, but, uh, but it, it is somewhat um, fragile. So you want to make sure that you're not creasing it. This will be very important as part of this demonstration. Now, working underneath the fixture, I've got this back at an angle because uh, I'm not actually going to have it installed into a space and, and actually I want you to be able to see inside the fixture so you can see a few of the, uh, the key elements uh, of, this, uh, of this fixture. We'll be doing a tabletop demonstration here and then we'll go out and actually install a real, in, uh, real reflector into an existing fixture in a space. Now, at the bottom of this, uh, this extrusion here, you'll find a very uh, small groove. And this groove is there to hold the bottom of the reflector material. Up inside the fixture, there's an extrusion that's held in with, with a couple set screws. And that extrusion has a groove in it as well, and that's going to hold the top of the reflector material. Now, this extrusion at the top of the fixture is very important. It's going to slide back and forth. This is necessary as part of your installation. So what you need to do before you start uh, installing your reflector material, back that set screw out just enough so that you can slide that extrusion away from the wall. That's very important. So you, you slide that extrusion away from the wall, and this creates a nice wide gap for you to install this new reflector material. Now, once that material has been slidden away from the wall, and make sure that you do that before you try to start this installation. Very, very important. Once you've, once you've slid the extrusion away from the wall, you're going to have a, a one person hold the end of the roll of material that we've provided, hold it about six feet, six or seven feet away from the person who's going to be actually installing the material. Okay, because this is such a small piece, I don't need a second person here to help me. All right, now, what you're going to do, we've got an end cap at one end of, the, uh, one end of this run, so we're going to start there, at the, start at the end cap. We're going to slide the material, actually, let's pretend that this is the end cap over here, just so you can see what, what, what I'm really doing. You're going to slide the material up into the housing of the fixture, and let the, the leading edge, or the top edge of that material, just kind of rest into the lamping area. Okay? Now, whether they're fluorescent or LED lamping, you'll be able to see that area as you stick your head up against the wall. You'll be able to see that area. So, what you're going to do is uh, let, let the bottom of the material be pushed up against that lower catch groove and let the upper portion of the material just rest into that lamping area. And do this all the way down the run. So obviously the person who's holding the material, uh, the, the roll of material, they need to be very careful that they're not putting creases into that material. Because again, once you crease that material, that crease is never going to come out. So be very careful with this, with this, uh, with this reflector material. All right, now, once you've allowed the bottom of the reflector to rest into the groove, and the upper portion of the reflector is just resting in the lamping area, now slide to tighten up against whatever your, your, wherever your end cap happens to be. All right. Now what's going to happen, let me go ahead and pull that down. Now what's going to happen is you're going to take your hand and just push very gently up on the top of the reflector material until it pushes just past the screw that's holding in the upper extrusion. Okay? And you'll be able to do that all the way down the run. Just barely past. All right. Do this all the way down the run and now your material is kind of held temporarily in place. Now you'll go back to the end of the run and push again just a little bit until the top of the reflector material rests itself inside the groove of the upper extrusion. And again, use your fingernail to just kind of ride that all the way down the run into that groove. And now you've got the material captured inside the groove. Now what we're going to do is tighten up the set screws. As you're tightening in the set screw, it's going to put pressure on the upper housing here and that's going to cause that extrusion to move towards the wall. You might have to give the screw a little bit of help with your finger as you're tightening up, and you can see that extrusion is actually moving towards the wall. What that's going to do is put tension onto the reflector itself and cause it to maintain a very nice parabolic shape all the way down the run. So just continue this procedure with every screw. Again, always working from below the fixture. Put a little bit of pressure on that screw to push it towards the wall as you're tightening. 
And that's going to help it to create a very nice tension and a parabolic shape in your reflector. All right, so let's go ahead, make sure that you undo all those set screws and push all those extrusions away from the wall to prepare the fixture for reflector installation. We'll go over, over and, uh, and start phase two. All right, so here is the actual installed fixture into a space. You can see that we've got starting at the, uh, the end cap here. And up inside the fixture, you can see the galvanized material. That is just a backing material that we've included as part of your fixture to uh, help the reflector maintain its, uh, its parabolic shape all the way down, uh, all the way down its run. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera uh, away from the wall here so you can see the entire installation procedure. So we start with our roll of material, uh, and again, this was provided to you as part of your fixture uh, shipment. Now, you'll have one person hold the end of the material and come towards the end of uh, towards the end of the run. Second person holds the holds the reflector material out, maybe six five six feet away uh, from the end. You want to provide sufficient slack so that the material doesn't become creased during any of this installation. Again, once that material becomes creased. That crease is never going to come out, and your installation is going to look poor uh, as long as the fixtures are up. Okay, so now, like I said, I'm going to want to snap the bottom of the reflector assembly into the groove that's at the bottom of the fixture, and I'm going to want the top of the reflector material to just rest into the lamping area. I do not want the top of the material to go up inside the area by that upper extrusion just yet. Okay, so just want it to be to lay slack into the lamping area of the fixture. If any of that material does start to, to pop its way up above that extrusion, just help it to, 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 to lay down uh, in the lamping area. You don't want it all the way up in there just yet. Okay? And it's a little bit floppy, so just make sure that you're being very careful with the material. And go ahead and give me a little slack. Bring it towards me. There you go. That's all. Okay. And now. I've got enough slack here that I can go ahead and start snapping the bottom of the material into that groove. Now, want to make sure that you're putting sufficient tension on the material to push it towards the end cap as you're doing this installation. You definitely don't want to be pulling the material away from the end, uh, as that's going to make things very difficult for you in, in just a few minutes. Okay, so again, want to make sure that you've got sufficient slack all the way down. Go ahead and keep rolling out. And that's good. Now as you're working with the material, you may end up pulling it away from the end cap and then it snaps itself out of that little groove. So again, just go back and fix that and continue. Now I've got sufficient space between me and the end cap and I can hold that material in with my right hand as I'm sliding the material in with my left. Okay, keep going. And Should be able to go all the way. Okay. Go ahead and help it up inside and keep the upper portion of the reflector down in the lamping area. Good. Okay, so now I'm going to slide myself back over to the right, making sure I've got tension on that material, pushing it to the right towards that end cap so I don't have any gaps at the end of my installation. All right, now you notice I can relieve uh, pressure on the material and it's resting. The bottom of it's resting inside the groove, and the upper portion is resting in the lamping area. Okay, now remember I'm going to snap that material just above the set screw uh, inside the inside the upper portion of the fixture. So holding the bottom down, I will just put sufficient pressure to push onto that set screw, and then find the next one. Put a little bit of pressure to push that material up above the set screw. Find the next one. Snap it up. Find the next one. 
Snap it up. Next one. Snap it up. And in this case, the last one. I snap it up. All right. Now all that material is held into the uh, uh, just above that set screw. Now I'm going to go back to the beginning of the run, and I'm going to slide that material up into the groove that is above the set screw. Again, holding on the bottom to make sure I don't uh, pull the material out of the lower groove. I'm going to snap that in and then use my fingertip as a bit of a knife edge to just slide that material all the way into that groove, all the way down, all the way down the run. Now I'm very loosely inserted into that groove, and now I'm going to take my uh, screwdriver, my hex head screwdriver, and I'm just going to start tightening up that screw, and I'm going to, again, use, the, use your, your loose finger, your free hand, to push that screw a little bit towards the wall as you're doing the tightening so that you're helping that extrusion move towards the wall during this whole procedure. You don't want to put too much pressure on that material, again, because it is somewhat fragile, but you just want to give it a good uh, amount of tension to maintain and create its parabolic shape. Not too difficult to work on this from below. Now, I didn't mention this beforehand, but make sure you're using clean hands. Okay? Dirty hands are going to mess up this reflector and it's while it can be cleaned with soap and water, you want to avoid that kind of stuff if possible. extrusion very gently towards the wall as I tighten up set screws. And that's it. Let's take a look inside and see how it looks. Okay, let's go ahead and turn that on. The camera adjusts a little bit, and you can see we've got a very nice, very clean installation of material all the way down the run of fixtures. Okay, and that's it.